A husband, father, and friend. That's how loved ones describe 36-year-old Brent Sarzinski, who died in yesterday's tragic crash on Interstate 95. Loved ones are left mourning, spending much of today reliving fond memories shared with Brent. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller spoke with those loved ones. She joins us live in Chesterfield tonight with more. Rachel. Eric and Deanna, it's an absolutely heartbreaking story. Friends and family of Brent Sarzinski says he was an incredible person, husband, father, and friend. 36-year-old Brent Sarzinski was confirmed as the victim in yesterday's tragic crash on I-95. Here's Richard Duncan, his friend and president of the Old 100 Athletic Association, in shock and devastated. I got a uh, message from his wife, Emily, and I couldn't believe it, so I called her. I said, this is not true. Sarzinski was the defensive coordinator for their 9U minors tackle team. He was also a husband and father of three boys. The youngest is just one month old. Early part of October, he called me and said, hey, Rich, I may miss a practice. Brent hate missing practice. I said, Brent, why? What's going on? He said, my wife, we're having a baby. In an accident yesterday around noon, Sarzinski was driving a septic truck on I-95 when he was hit by I-beams. Virginia State Police says they had fallen off a freight liner carrying an overheight load under the Belvedere Street overpass. As loved ones continue to grieve, they tell us he will forever be in their hearts. Brent's legacy, the man who Brent was, will go on forever. Duncan tells us he had to have some really tough conversations with some of the players last night, and their practice is actually starting in just about 25 minutes. And this practice, he tells me, will be in memory of Brent. In the meantime, the association will be collecting gift cards to help the family. Live in Richmond tonight, Rachel Keller, 8 News.